In this video, I'll show you how to allow your customers to select multiple variations in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and I'll show you how you can increase the user experience on a product page and on a shop page by allowing customers to select multiple variations all at once, okay? So for example, if we wanted this blue variation in 50 mil, we can select four of this and maybe we want the green in 100 mil. So we'll select three of this and then maybe we want the red in 50 mil. So we can go ahead and select 10 here and then we can just quickly add it to cart. Okay, and all the items have been added to cart. Okay, so here we are on the shop page. So instead of using the default um, grid layout, we're actually using our product table layout and customers similar to on the product page, they can quickly select the variation in which they want. So they might want the slippers in black and they might want two of it and maybe six green. Okay, and then they can just quickly move on to the next product. They might say, okay, they want the 100 mil in red, three quantities, and they might want the 500 mil in green maybe six quantities and then once they're finished you can just go ahead and add all these um, items to cart in just a simple click and if we scroll down here we can see our variations have been added to our cart successfully so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com go ahead and download the WeSuite product table plugin once you've done so let's head back over to our dashboard and I'll leave the link in the description below okay so here we are on our demo site and assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite suite product table plugin the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin so you just go plugins add new go ahead and upload the plugin once you've done so you'll see this wee suite menu here click activate enter in your license key and it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section here from here we can just go ahead and enable the product table plugin i've already got it enabled here then we can just navigate to manage if you don't see this manage button here when you refresh the page you'll see the product table menu item under this we suite tab okay so i'm going to open this in a new tab okay and i've already created a product table but i'm going to disable this one for now and then we'll go ahead and create a new product table okay so we can just give it a name and this is just for internal purposes i'm going to name mine variation table and then here where it says quick order form page we'll just leave this to blank we've got the option to automatically insert this product table onto a particular page so it's not applicable for this video so we'll navigate to order form i should mention that throughout this video i'll be showing you how to allow customers to select multiple variations on the shop page and also on the product page so when we do this on the shop page, it will look like this. And then when we do it on a product page, it will look like this. Okay, so first we'll go ahead and set this up for the shop page, which is this view. And then we'll go ahead and set it up for the product page. Okay, so for the column section under this order form information, I'm gonna go ahead and select um, inner column. So I'll just drag it and drop it. Then I'll click the pencil icon and then I'll rename the label okay so i'm gonna say um, product and this label is what they'll see here okay so where it says product that's what we're doing here um for the columns i'm gonna so we can choose from these list of option here so we can say name for the product name and then we'll put a comma and then i'm gonna say image and then comma and then finally i'm gonna go ahead and add um price okay and for each word there's no space in um, between the comma okay so that's super important so we'll just press update x this off okay so we just need to add a add to cart button for this particular product table to work as it should okay for the image size i've resized mine to 150 pixel width and 150 pixels height as well so a lot of these other sections we're going to actually skip over them okay and we're just going to navigate down to where it says form control or the form control and then a lot of these again i'm going to leave as default so we're displaying the search box we're showing the product total um, the pagination button and the reset button enable download to C csv button we're going to leave all these disabled um, form design we're going to leave it as default and then we'll navigate to where it says bulk variation Okay, so we just wanna go ahead and enable this option. Okay, and um, show custom columns. So if you've added any custom columns that's displaying custom data, then you can enable this option here. We can hide um, 
variations which aren't available and also we can hide um, the outer stock text as well okay when the variation isn't available and then for the vertical attribute um, axis we're going to go ahead and select this variation here then for the horizontal attribute we'll go ahead and select a different um, attribute here as well okay so since we only allow you to choose um, a y and a x axis any other attributes that's assigned to a product will display in a drop down format so it's more user friendly to the customer okay so we'll save changes and then we'll head back over to the general settings area and there's one final step we need to take okay here where it says shop pages we're just going to set this particular product table as our default shop page design so i've just um, selected it here and then we'll hit save changes and then now when we go ahead and view our shop page okay so now when a customer views a shop page they can quickly select the variation which they want so for example they can say they want um, four of um, this brown Yeezy sliders for this particular perfume here they might say they want 100 mil in green and then they can select the quantity they might want um, the 50 mil in red and then they can enter in a quantity here and then just click add to cart and it will bulk add all those selections to their basket okay so as you can see it's a much more streamlined user experience for your customers to quickly bulk buy the items in which they want now that we've seen how to allow customers to select multiple variations on a shop page, let me show you how to do it on a product page. So just for reference, we'll be creating this version here. So we'll create a new product table for this, or we can reuse the other one, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new product table. So I'll just click add new here, and then I'm going to name this again. It's just for internal purposes. So I'm going to say um, product table. Okay, so again, for the quick order form option, we'll leave that and then we'll navigate to order form. So now the only thing we're going to add on this um, order form is the add to cart button. And the reason being is since the customer will already be on a product page, there's no need to add the product name and so on because they can already see that information. Okay, so we'll just display the add to cart button. Um, image size again, we'll just leave that as default because we're not even adding a image to it um, so if you remember they'll already be able to see the image is fine so so we'll just show our add to cart and then i'm going to navigate down to um, form controls and um, page length i'm going to actually hide this for the search box i'm going to hide this also product total i'm going to hide this pagination button i'm going to set it to hidden okay so this doesn't apply since that's hidden and then we'll just navigate down to where it says bulk variation. We'll enable this option again. And then we'll go ahead and select our vertical axis, which is color. And then our horizontal axis, which is size. Okay, so now we'll just save changes. Okay, so that's save fine. So we're going to navigate back to our general settings area. Okay, and then this time where it says enable variation table. Here we're going to go ahead and select the table in which we've just created. So... I've selected variation product table here, hit save changes. And now when we check the product page of this particular product, for example, we should be able to see our pricing matrix. Okay, so now when we view our product page, our customers can quickly select the variation in which they want to pay. So we can say we want five of the green in 100 mil and maybe one of the blue in 50 mil. And let's say seven of the red in a hundred mil and then we can just add it to cart and it will automatically add our selection to cart here we can see our selections displaying fine and that's the allow customers to add multiple variations to their basket in just a few simple steps as always if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible